Resident Evil Origins Collection combines Resident Evil HD, which came out last summer, with the new HD remake of Resident Evil Zero, which is a prequel to the events in the mansion, where Rebecca Chambers from the Star's Rescue Team gets involved in a fight for survival alongside Billy Cohen, a runaway who's been convicted of over 28 grisly murders. I've already reviewed Resident Evil HD, so I'll leave a link at the end of the video. So in this review, I'll concentrate on Zero, and then give a verdict taking into account you can get both games in one bundle here. If you remember playing the old Resident Evil games, you're not going to get anything new here, apart from a slightly tweaked control system where you can move your character in any direction, and some updated graphics when it comes to characters and textures. The cutscenes remain as muddy as they looked on the GameCube, and you're still going to get disorientated when it comes to the fixed character angles changing. Try to move the control stick to compensate for the new angle too soon, and you'll end up flicking between screens or running around in circles. It gets very confusing. What makes this game different to any other Resident Evil game is the fact that you can control two characters here at once. You can tap a button to zap between the two characters, so you can exchange items, solve puzzles, and at times they'll need to split up in order to progress. For instance, Billy falls through a hole in the roof of the Ecliptic Express, and Rebecca must exchange items using the dumb waiter in the kitchen so he can get through a locked door. It's a slightly clunky mechanic where you need to go into the menu to choose whether to split them up or not, or whether to attack, but it's different, and for that, it must be commended. One other annoying thing is that the characters really don't have enough item slots. You'll constantly be having to do item management so you can pick things up, combine or use them. There aren't any trunks for you to store stuff in, and you've got to leave it scattered all over the train or the mansion. Okay, you could argue that this involves some strategy, but today, dropping items only having to backtrack to pick them up because you can only carry 8 things is frankly annoying if you're a time poor gamer. If you like Resident Evil along with all its cheesy dialogue and hammy acting, then you will enjoy this double bill. I may be a bit down on this game, but the fact you can get the truly excellent Resident Evil HD remaster alongside Zero makes for a great nostalgic gaming experience. If you already have last year's release, you may want to think twice, but Resident Evil Origins Collection gets an excellent 8 out of 10.